Hello, folks. Welcome back tonight. The Detroit Red Wings looking to stop a two-game skid as they travel to St. Louis to take on the Blues in their second game of two games in two nights. Welcome to Enterprise Center in St. Louis, Missouri. The Red Wings. James Reimer in net. This is their second game in back-to-back -back nights. They lost last night in Dallas, one to nothing. The Red Wings have been shut out each of their past two games. Looking for a quick start here. Larkin, a couple attempts. He spins with it. Bennington has to be fast. He hangs on. So the captain, who had two penalties in the last game, he looks like he's into it early. He's aggressive off the draw. This is a Detroit team that's dropped two in a row, hasn't scored in either game. Meanwhile, the Blues have won six straight, and they have the Red Wings here on the second half of two games. Thomas walking in. His shot off a stick into the corner. There's another attempt, and Thomas scores. Reimer was sprawled out. I don't think the first shot ever made it to him. If it did, it bounced right back onto the stick of Thomas. And Reimer had no chance. And Detroit finds themselves behind the eight ball early against this red hot St. Louis team. Kairou and Buchnevich assist on Thomas's ninth of the season. Krug back in with a shot. Reimer will hang on. If you are just joining us for the first time, I thank you for finding us. Make sure you hit this video with a like. Please consider subscribing and turn on the bell notifications so you don't miss any future Red Wings action. Dabrinkit. He gets a shot and he scores. He snaps. A six-period goalless drought for the Red Wings. Kind of a broken play as he made a move around two defenders. Kane with some interference. The puck kind of wobbling through. I don't know if Bennington knew where it was. And the next thing he knew, it was in the back of the net. So Alex Dabrinkit, a guy whom you need to score goals. If you're going to have any success, he gets his eighth of the season. It's from Kane and Gostisbehere and Detroit. A former Red Wing, Jacob Verana, gets a slash right off the faceoff. So the Wings with a chance to build off the Dabrinkit goal. You see the slash right there on Patrick Kane. The wing's second power play unit goes to work. Pareko, he clears. If you've been with us for a while, I appreciate you being here. Thank you for joining us. Once again, a Sprong look to put one in the net for you. But Bennington kicks it away, Gastis Bear. Out front to Raymond with a shot. That's blocker to side. Perron sprung with an attempt. Gets it through. Bennington saw that one all the way and hangs on. The Red Wings top power play unit on the ice. Face off to the right of Bennington. Perron tries to play it through out to the line. Haran gets a shot. That rose up quickly in Bennington. With another glove save. Larkin. He wins this draw back. A one-time blast by Patrick Kane. And it's stopped by Bennington. And he hangs on once again. A nice job by Kane. He rolled off. Right off that face of. Gostas Bear found him. 
And a nice one-time attempt. Bennington able to get squared up to that one-timer quickly, keeping this a 1-1 hockey game. Larkin, he gets a shot. Toe save by Bennington, and the Blues get it out. Gostas Bear up to the goal scorer for the Red Wings, Alex Dabrinkit. He gives it away, and that sent the length of the ice. Kane looking to set up one more time for the Red Wings. He gets it back to Dabrinkit. Through to Larkin, right back to Dabrinkit, and it's intercepted by Falk. They cannot get it out. A second attempt, Blaise, Sammy Blaise. Clears it. Final seconds on this power play for the Red Wings. Larkin, he's hit off the puck. The Blues back to full strength. Larkin has it. Makes a move. Kane picks it up behind the net. Perron, Red Wings still pressuring. As Perron's shot gets through, Bennington gets the glove up. We'll have a face-off. To the left of Bennington. Detroit's fourth line on the ice against the Blues' top unit. One to one on goals by Thomas and Dabrinkit. Thomas moving in. He fakes a shot. He gets the pass to Buchnevich. Scandella circling with it. Buchnevich across to Cairo. His shot hits Thomas. Doesn't get through. Wallman behind his own net up to Sider. Gets it into Costin. He has it knocked off his stick. Kairou for the Blues. Up to Buchnevich. He had two wings closing on him, but he gets the pass to Scandella, who makes a nice shot. Reimer with a save. Now Sider at center ice. He sidesteps a hit. Gets it to Fisher. He's going to get a shot off, and Bennington makes a save. He keeps the puck alive. Oh, Costin with a big hit. Shen now with some room. His shot goes wide of the net. And out of play. I'm not sure if Reimer got a stick on it. <coughs> but a nice transition for the Blues. Leading to that attempt. And now an offensive zone faceoff. Which is won by the Blues. Hayes shot. Sprawling is Reimer. In desperation mode. He gets his glove on it. And holds on for another face-off. Shen wins the draw again. Pareko over to Hayes. He's going to shoot it. Doesn't get through. Gostas Bear blocks that. And Peron for Detroit. It's center ice. Cop has it. Puck knocked off his stick. But Peron picks it up from Verana. He nice a nice little spin move. Deep to Cop. Behind the net. Looking to set up, out to Petrie. Gostas Bear now, over to Perron. His shot doesn't get through, and the Blues. Hayes with Verana, turned over. The Blues in the midst of a change. Perron goes off sides, and with 1.08 to play in the first period, we will have a face-off right outside the St. Louis zone. Comfer wins it cleanly. Dabrinkit in the blue zone. Over to Kane with a shot right into the chest of Bennington. And he'll hang on for another faceoff. Defensive zone faceoff won by Oscar Sundquist. Saad. Five seconds remaining. His shot stopped by Reimer. Mata Kane give and go in their own end to kill the final seconds. We head to the first intermission. One to one our score. Welcome back for the second period. We have a 1-1 one -one tie. Between the Red Wings and the Blues. Raymond. He gets it out front. Larkin has it roll off his stick. Out to the line. Sider's shot. Bennington saw that one. He keeps it going. Kairu now. Three on two for the Blues. Oh, nice back check. By Dabrinkit. He's been, or that was Lucas Raymond. I'm sorry. Fabry's shot doesn't get through. 
Nice back check by Raymond. I'll give him credit. I almost gave it to Debrinkit, but it was Raymond who got back. Broke up that three on two. Now Cider for Detroit. He gets it out front. Larkin's shot. Stopped by Bennington. Boy, Bennington showed good positioning tonight. He's been able to square himself to the shooter. Whether they've been cross crease passes, one timers. He's been there and made the saves look easy. Kane for the wings. He gets it to Fabry, his shot. Bennington once again square to the shooter. Making the save, covering the puck for another face of in the St. Louis zone. Falk, as the Blues win another faceoff, they get it out of their end. Hayes tried to centering pass to Brinkett, intercepts. Kane tries to make a little sidestep, and Nick Letty stays with him. Shen up to Verana. He gets around Petrie. A nice one-timer shot from the slot by Hayes. But James Reimer, who boasts a .99 goals against average this season, he's already given up his one goal. He stands tall and makes the save look easy. Falk to Hayes, his shot. That's blocked. And to Brinkett, he's up the right wing side. He scores! Alex to Brinkett. He's got two. Debrinkit has been everywhere to, tonight. So much so that every time I see a three and a right-handed stick, I've been giving him credit for making the plays. This time it is Debrinkit. He beats Bennington with a hard wrist shot to the far side, beating him over his stick. Debrinkit's ninth from Kane and Gastisbear. Detroit now with a 2-1 lead, and Cop scores! The next shot. Andrew Cop. he put it in the same spot that Debrinkit just scored in. Right over the right pad, under the blocker and stick of Bennington, who stretched out. That's Cop's second of the season. Seconds after. Alex Dabrinkit made it a 2-1 hockey game. Cop has extended the lead and quieted this St. Louis crowd. Petrie and Gostisbehere gets his third assist of this hockey game. The Wings back in again. Gostisbehere gave it away. Hayes looking to start something here for the Blues. He has it taken away by Gostas Bear. And our most recent goal scorer, Andrew Kapp, gets it out. Perron scores! David Perron, the former St. Louis Blue. He puts this puck in the same location over the right pad under the stick and blocker of Jordan Bennington that's three straight goals in the same location Rasmussen and Cap assist on Perron's fifth of the season and in a matter of minutes we went from a one to one hockey game to a Four to one hockey game. The St. Louis team, they've won six in a row. Playing against this Detroit team that has dropped two straight, hadn't scored in six periods. They have James Reimer and Knight who only gives up a goal game scores. I can't even talk about what the Red Wings players are doing. Cause they just keep putting the puck in the net. That's five. Five unanswered goals 
for the Red Wings. Four in this period. It's a one-time blast by Lucas Raymond. On the stick side of Jordan Bennington, he blew it by him. Folks, it's 5-1, to one and this St. Louis crowd is booing their team. Buchnevich, he's knocked off the puck. As I was going to say, Reimer, he only gives up a goal per game at most this season with a .99 goals against average. He's already given up one. Don't expect him to give up more, but the Blues are three on one. Across Thomas, he scores. If you're going to get back into a hockey game, you got to do it one goal at a time. One shot at a time. And Robert Thomas, who already had one tonight, he beats Reimer cleanly with a nice heavy wrist shot. Stick side. His 10th of the season. His team leading 28 points. Buchnevich will get the assist. A late second period goal makes it a three goal deficit that St. Louis has to overcome in the third period. After 60, it's five to two Red Wings. 20 to nine are the shots favoring the Red Wings through two. Five to two is the score favoring the Red Wings through two. Robert Thomas has both Blues goals. He got one late. Oh, Robbie Fabry scores. I was just in the middle of saying Robert Thomas scored late in the second and hopefully would get some momentum back for the Blues, but a nice backhanded pass to Robbie Fabry. Krug provided a little bit of a screen. Top shelf stick side. A goal by Fabry Detroit. Retakes a four goal lead. Fabry sixth from Larkin and Raymond. There's an interception by Buchnevich in the Detroit zone. Unable to get the shot on net. Larkin knocked off the puck. Thomas to Buchnevich. His shot off the stick of cider and wide. Larkin for the Red Wings. His pass to Raymond puts them offside. And we'll have a face off. The Wings changing it up. Their second unit on the ice. Comfer. He tries a pass, a second attempt, he backhands it. Bennington, as he's done most of the night, keeping the play going. Kairou trying to catch the wings in transition. Pareko with a shot. That's kicked aside. Kane comes away with it to Sider, who's going to lead the rush for the Red Wings. Krug knocks it off his stick. Gets it back the other way. Sider forces the turnover. Up to Kane, into the blue zone. He sends it in deep. Pareko on it first. He's tied up by Comfer. Kicks it free. Verana, he's knocked down by Dabrinkit. Shen out front, knocked off the stick of Buchnevich, who was going, I'm sorry, Hayes rather, who was going for a one-timer. Gostas Bear, there's a delayed penalty coming up. It's the Blues. Kevin Hayes with a slash. That's not going to help the Blues cause. Hayes, it looked like he was going for a stick lift on Cider. Completely missed him. And Patrick Kane just happened to be there. Unintentional, but still a slash. Nice defensive play to lift the stick of Raymond there, who was looking for a one-timer. The Blues able to clear it down the ice. Oscar Sundquist sends it in and gives chase. Comfer for the Red Wings. 
Across the line, Sprong with a shot. Biddington goes down and makes the save as we're approaching the halfway mark of this third period. Six to two. Detroit had a big four goal explosion in the second period that widened this game. Sunquist sending it in. Killing time off this penalty. Sprong sends it into the blue zone. Scandella recovers it. He'll start out with, for St. Louis. Into the wing zone. He's going to keep it and shoot. Reimer saves it. Raymond as the Red Wings looking to set up on the power play. Gostisbehere over. Comfer's one-timer is blocker to side. And Sunkist able to Sunkist Sunquist able to send it length the ice. A big stretch pass to Raymond, one on one, and Pareko gets it off his stick. in the Blues sod sending it in deep. Detroit ten seconds to work on the power play. Raymond moves into the slot. His shot kicked away by Biddington. Back out. Gostas Bear Kopfer Sprong tried to turn with it. He can't. Blues, Hayes out of the box, full strength. Hayes with a blast, kicked away by Reimer. Shen knocked off the puck by Perron. Perron with a move through center, loses control, and Hayes. The Blues will start back. Kevin Hayes, he loses the puck inside the wing zone. Under six to play, third period. Six to two, Detroit. Gostas Bear has three helpers on the night. Raymond gets through the Blues team. Three of them can't make anything happen. Kopfer being held up by Krug. At this stage, they're going to let him play it out. Kairou with a shot deflected wide of the Wings goal. Kopfer. Peron. Wings looking to make a much needed change. He goes out front with it. And Sprong redirects it right into the chest of Biddington, who hangs on. So David Perron showing some speed at the left wing boards. Getting around two Blues players, able to make a centering pass. Sprong with a nice chance. But Jordan Biddington with the save. Buchnevich, his shot stopped by Reimer. One minute to go in this hockey game. The Red Wings, moments away from ending a six game winning streak of the Blues and at the same time snapping their two game losing skid. A set of games that saw them score zero goals. That's right, two straight games with no goals. They explode for six in this one. We'll have another face off in the Blues end. Comfer for the Red Wings. He's tied up in the Blues. Will win the draw as the final seconds are ticking away. Alexandrov shot, that stopped. And the Detroit Red Wings get the victory to close out this two game road trip. They'll be all smiles on the played ride home tonight. A huge second period. It was a one to one tie. The Red Wings exploded for four goals. And that was really all she wrote. Our final from St. Louis, it's Detroit 6, St. Louis 2. Join us back here next time as the Red Wings travel back to Little Caesars Arena to host the 18-10 Carolina Hurricanes.